Hey everybody, it's Christy with Christy Cole Artistry. Tonight I'm going to be working on a 12 by 12 level 1 canvas. I am going to be doing a fall color painting on a black background. Um, and before we begin, I would like to say hello to some new subscribers. Um, hello to Judy, Abigail, Janaya, uh, Sarah, and Natalie. Thank you for joining uh, joining me, and thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. So again, um, it's going to be a fall painting. The colors I plan on using tonight are going to be Artist Loft Red. Um, I mixed up a dark, kind of a burnt orange, um, so I'm going to be using that. A uh, yellow that I mixed up, and then we're going to be using an Artist Loft Deep Green as well. So let me get the canvas flooded, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I have flooded the canvas with my um, black Artist Loft Flow Acrylic paint mixed with Floetrol and water. And I'm just checking, make sure everything's covered. Um, I did go ahead and um, took a little bit of the uh, black um, Artist Loft paint and I did paint the sides ahead of time they're drying as well and we are going to torch the bubbles now said in the past is I like to use black um, because when I am uh, flooding the canvas you can tell so easily when you miss a spot because it, it the um, the black has like a reflection in it and I, I don't mind that when I'm when I'm uh, flooding the canvas because I like to see where it's missing and it just sort of pops out at you of where the paint is missing. So all right we flooded the canvas with our black paint mixed with flow troll and water and now here are my fall colors for tonight's pour. So again the first one is going to be Artist Love Deep Red. Then I mixed up this orange and I used um, a lemon yellow that I had left over that I had actually mixed, I believe in the last video, with a, um, one of my last videos. I mixed it with lemon yellow and orange and a little bit of brown to make a mustard. And then this, now I added red. And so we have sort of a burnty orange color. And then this is my, um, uh, some leftover yellow that I had um, with some bright yellow added to it. So that's a, pre or a self mixing one. And then we're going to use Artist Loft Deep Green. Okay, so what I plan to do is I'm going to run stripes of the colors up this black painting. And then I'm going to be using this white, uh, it's Artist Loft Titanium White. It's a level two paint. It's been mixed with Floetrol water and some cell crater. Um, because I want to see if I can get a nice fall painting that I can do a little tilting and pouring off and still have um, some cells and some beautiful color in it. So let's see if it works. And before I do that, I want to wa wipe off my Oxo spatula. I don't want that sitting. Black paint all over it. Okay. So, and here's the piece of plastic that I have, and I'm just going to run the plastic down after I get the cell creator on. So the idea is, that, like I said, I want to make this a fall painting, so I want to use these colors across here, um, a bit close together. We'll see how, how many rows we need when we're toward the end, but here we go. So I'm running deep red here. 
I know that's going to fall off. And I'm going to uncork all of these bottles so that I can just pour them. Because I don't want it to run off too much while we're doing this. I'm going to leave a little bit of black in between. Fuzzy on that bottle. Okay, and then our green. Sorry, that's, that's my phone going off left and right again. Okay, so here's the red, orange, yellow, and green. Red, yellow, orange, green. And these to me are beautiful fall colors. Red, orange. Um, here in Minnesota, the leaves are just about past um, fall colors. Um, that happened because we had a drought here, and with the drought, fall color changing came a little. Okay, sorry about that. That was my daughter. Um, all right, so orange. Orange, 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 yellow, and then green. Green, and then red. Oh, this takes a while, doesn't it? Orange, yellow. Well, it's not going to come out even. I was hoping it kind of would. That's all right. Some of it's gonna get poured off anyway. Green, and then we'll do a little bit orange on this end. So like I said, some of this was gonna get poured off anyway. Okay, I'm gonna put my caps back on my paints. And move those out of the way. And then we'll torch the bubbles. Once again. Because I see a lot of bubbles in here. It's very interesting looking, just as it is. Okay, so like I was saying, um, fall colors in Minnesota um, pretty much finished up kind of early this year due to we had a drought during the summer months. And um, because of that, we are already pretty much done with the leaves, but I still wanted to have a nice fall painting here, so. All right, so I'm gonna take this um, Artist Loft Titanium Weight Level 2 that I've put added some cell creator to, and I'm gonna run a bead of it across the top, and then we're gonna drag the um, colors down. And then we're going to tilt them a little bit and see if we can create a nice fall color pattern. And I'm gonna run a pretty good bead of this gonna run down the sides but that's okay all right here we go make sure I have enough sorry if we don't have enough it's not gonna work there we go all right so then we take the plastic we dip it at the beginning and we run this down And then we wipe it off. And you, I hope you guys can see the cells that are already forming. Um, now there's a lot of white left up here. So I'm gonna flip this over and flip it over. And I'm just gonna lightly, lightly, whoop, well, lightly drag it back this way. And then clean it off again. Okay. So we have a lot. You see those? It looks really light in the camera, but in, on the painting it actually looks like there's tons going on here. So I'm going to tilt this down here, stretching those cells out, stretching them out, letting it run off the canvas down to the bottom, like so. Whoop, I missed that one just by here. 
right like that. And then we're going to bring it up, go to the other side because we have that corner. We want to we want to clean off that corner there. Okay. Set it down for a second. And then I'm going to go under this way and I'm going to tilt it toward me so that I can do the same thing at the bottom down here. So you get to look at the back right now. Okay, now what I plan on doing, because I'm going to show you what this looks like in a second here. I mean, it looks really pretty now, but it's not done. Okay, so you can see how the cells have created and how they've run, and it does look real fall, but it has no real design to it. It's just stripes. And I don't want just stripes. So what I plan on doing now is I'm going to go off this edge and hopefully we can ripple it a little bit by going off the edges this way. Okay. And now we're going to go back this side, get this edge. It's almost there, and I'll show it to you again after I get, if I get this edge. Okay, so here's what we've got so far. See, we've got some, we've got some design, some composition rounding itself out. But I'm going to go across sideways now, so I'm actually going to tilt it so that you guys can see. Because, I, like I said, I don't want just stripes. But I love what's happening right now. So I'm going to stretch these out. Like so. Just about there. Okay. Now, what do you think about that? I'm going to go back down to the bottom here because I do want to cover this corner and this corner down there. But I like how it's stretched itself out right now. So we're going to go back the opposite way see if we can bring the upper corner more down toward the lower corner. See what happens there. And I think that's just about all the stretching we're going to be able to do. So you can see, like right in here, the red is, uh, green is starting to go into the red and the orange and all these tight ones are going to roll off here. And this is the fun about playing with acrylic paints. There you go. Alright, I'm going to keep the red corner. And there we go. So I'm going to turn it this way so that you guys can see it. I think it's beautiful. And I have the colors in there that I wanted. So what I've done right now, oopsie, let me get that over there. What I've done right now is I've turned it, um, so we ran our stripes this way. But now I've turned it so that you can see how beautiful that is. Isn't that so pretty? I wish I had just a little bit more paint on here so I could do lower corner. Maybe it will go. I want to stretch this upper corner here and try to get some of it to loop on down to that bottom corner again. But it's not really going, which means that my paint, my excess paint is running low, um, but I really like this. I like the cells, I like everything that's happening with it. It's very fallish. Um, yeah, I really like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry, and then what I may do is I may embellish it with a um, fall design. Uh, and we'll see, you know, it could be Halloween, it could be fall. We'll see what... Here's my gloves. What will look best on it? But yeah, playing with this cell creator for a few of these videos has been actually kind of fun. And um, yeah, it's 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 really pretty. All right, I'm gonna get my camera and I'm gonna bring it down so you can see what I'm looking at, and then um, I'll kind of show you what I was talking about as far as embellishing it. So I'm gonna grab the camera and I'll be right back. Okay, so here is the painting. Now, isn't that interesting? 
see the fall colors in there and the cells are absolutely gorgeous but the painting itself when you look at it as a whole is missing something so again I plan on adding or embellishing this after it dries but um, with the black background I do like what's happening here um, it is fallish it's Halloweenish it it just looks beautiful and um, um, I will uh, show you when it's dry a paint or a picture of it when it's dry and I'll also show you after I finish it up so thank you for watching this quick little video tonight thanks for uh, following me through this little experiment with that um, white cell or white paint and cell creator and until my next video in three days I will talk to you then bye